No one is innocent. Before in our previous devotion, we learned from Romans chapter 2 verse 12 that we all have the law within us. Not a list of rules, no. I'm talking about moral convictions. And that means that we generally know what is the right thing to do and what is the wrong thing to do. We know in our heart. For all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law. And all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law. Remember, God always looks at the heart, always. Outward things that we do, follow rules, laws, those don't count. God looks at the heart. Question, is your heart pure or not? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The next verse is connected to Romans chapter 2, verse 12. It's the first part of verse 13. For it is not the hearers of the law who are righteous before God. We hear or read about things that are right to do, and it does not make us holy or righteous or perfect before God. People who attend church, listening to the preaching of the word every Sunday, does not mean that they are righteous, holy Christians. Why not? Well, let's look at the last part of the verse. But the doers of the law who will be justified. We hear the preaching of the word or read the Bible and after that question, do we do the right things that we learn from the preaching and the reading? No. Paul's not talking about that we need to do the work and then, pa, we have a relationship with our God. No. Let's put that aside. What Paul means is that we naturally know what is right and good in our hearts. And we naturally want to follow what's in our hearts that we know is right and good. Is there anyone out there that has 100% pure heart? God declares that person pure? Obviously not. Our hearts are not pure. That's the point that Paul is emphasizing in Romans chapter 2. Our hearts are not right with God, and we will face judgment. Question, do you feel convicted, wrong, like you've sinned against God? Then repent, trust in Jesus. Your heart will be pure at will. How pure? Well, your sins, they will be forgiven. And Jesus' righteousness will be given to you. Your real trust in Jesus will be shown later through the good things that you do, very clearly. They will. You will naturally do things that are right and good from your heart, from pure love for God and others around you. Some of you are concerned about people who perhaps live in jungles or third world countries or wherever, but they've never heard of the gospel. People that know nothing about Jesus never heard the gospel. If they died, sin in their heart, impure, would they be innocent? No. They know right from wrong, the same as we do. Before we were ever hearing of the gospel, we knew right from wrong. We're not innocent. They're not innocent. They know God exists. They know through creation around them that they see its proof. Also, they are guilty of sinning against God. Why? Because in their hearts, they know right from wrong. There's a reason that we need to support missionaries and pastors and send them to reach these people with the gospel if they are truly innocent then what's the point of preaching the gospel to them there'd be no point they wouldn't need to hear the gospel understand it's clear we are all guilty sinners that's what paul is emphasizing quorum deal